Throughout the years, Minecraft has had numerous versions release, from the original Minecraft.net, a browser-based client, to later Java and Bedrock. Other versions as obscure as the Raspberry Pi edition, and the Nintendo 3DS part of the game, released more so in obscurity than the other versions of the game. In this video, I will try to explain the many nuances of Legacy Minecraft, beginning with its release and why it was abandoned in 2019 and replaced with Bedrock Edition. The first version of Legacy Minecraft came with the Xbox 360 release on the 9th of May 2012, with its physical release coming on the 4th of June 2013. When Legacy Console Minecraft is mentioned, this is the version most people are thinking and talking about, and it's not hard to see why. Within 6 days, 1 million copies had already been sold, and 1 year later it had reached 7 million copies. By November 2014, several more versions had been released, from Minecraft PS3, 4 and the PS Vita edition, to the Xbox One release of the game. Even though the older versions of the game, being the 360 and PS3 editions, had practically become redundant at this point due to the PS4 and Xbox One editions being released, Mojang kept updating these games all the way up till 1.12 and 1.13 respectively. Also, the ever infamous Minecraft handbooks were released at this time. This included the Beginners, Combat, Redstone and Construction handbooks. These books were mainly targeted as console players as they were new players of the game However, they also apply to the Java version of the game, as they mechanically function the same. In modern times, Legacy Editions have been referred to as Console Java in comparison to the Abomination of the Bedrock release, which are completely foreign to the two prior versions. Legacy Edition and Java, mechanically and coding-wise, function the exact same. Despite all versions of Legacy Minecraft being abandoned by Mojang with the final update to any of the games coming in 2019 for the PS4 edition, there is still a thriving community of smaller YouTubers like ourselves that try to keep the spirit and nostalgia for the older versions of the game alive and give insight into what newer players of the game have missed out on. Although there is not a definitive answer released by Mojang, we can speculate why. As for all companies, the main reasons for its abandonment is money. From a business side of things, it makes sense. Why support several independent versions of the game when you can just make one universal version for all of the hardware and all of the consoles still supported? As well as the Legacy Editions also contain versions like the PS3, Xbox 360 and PS4 editions of the game that are all out of date by the time Bedrock was released. So it makes no tangible sense to continue supporting these versions, considering the player base on them is so small. However, hindsight is 2020, and there may be more to this decision than meets the eye. With Bedrock Edition came the marketplace, where players could purchase minecoins slash gems to get worlds and add-ons for the game. Great, right? Creators get paid for their work, rather than being free labour like on Java. Well, not really. Mojang and the App Store slash Play Store that the user is on both take a massive cut out of the creator's wage. As well as these marketplace items being shoved down your throat the moment you launch the game with pop-ups telling you to buy this new released pack or this new add-on by Mojang or this new collaboration. Making the experience as a whole worse off, this also in conjunction with Bedrock being the most buggy unfinished version of the game to date makes it an appalling version to play. The only reason you can make for people playing this game is so they can play with friends on console and get new updates and new features at the console editions of the game that are no longer available on the store, do not get. So why return to Legacy Edition? To put it in a single word, nostalgia. Now before I get too much flack for this, there are other legitimate reasons obviously for returning to these older versions of the game. From how simple they are, to the unique features they have such as the mini games and the mashup packs, to the older tutorial worlds as well. The fact that it feels like a finished game compared to Bedrock, and the fact that there are barely any bugs left and the only bugs that are left can be used to create farms that were not intended to be in the game and enhance the experience compared to bugs in Bedrock which ruin it. 
make it a valued version for people to return to and a valued reason for people to continue playing the game.